Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to everybody's favorite neighborhood Italian restaurant, Stan Italian Table. Today, we're going to learn how to make spaghetti alla matrigiana. Come on inside. Hey guys, Justin from Stanton Italian Table. Just want to show everybody today one of my favorite pasta dishes is uh, spaghetti and matrigiana. We start off by grinding our pancetta. It gives it a little more, more crispy effect in the sauce, a little bit more extraction, and uh, makes for a really good flavor. So the salsa and matrigiana has just a few key ingredients. The pancetta that we ground, garlic, shallots, tomato, fresh herbs. So we're going to start off, I prefer to do the garlic sliced. Just like in the movie Goodfellas, paper thin so that it melts away as you cook it in the sauce. We're also going to take some shallots and do a nice small dice of shallots. Nobody likes to have big chunks of onions in their sauce. We get our nice hot pan, and we put a nice heaping three handfuls of pancetta in there. You want to get that nice and toasty brown. You want to make sure that there's a lot of flavor and a lot of fat that comes out of there because that's going to be what cooks our garlic and shallots. Once your pancetta becomes nice and brown, we're going to add the garlic and shallots we sliced up and toast them up a little bit. You want your shallots to be nice and soft and your garlic just to get a little golden brown. You don't want to undercook your garlic because then it'll be too pungent in your sauce and all you'll taste is garlic. Now that your pancetta is nice and brown and your garlic and shallots are cooked, we're going to add a little white wine. This will get all the fond, that nice brown stuff off the bottom and sides of the pan. Give it a couple of quick stirs. That's going to be all the flavor for the sauce. Now that the wine has cooked down, we add our tomatoes. I make sure to crush them all by hand just the way my grandmother did and add a little bit of the puree to make a nice sauce. Make sure you stir your sauce occasionally. You don't want it to stick to the pot. This is our spaghetti alla chitarra. Spaghetti alla chitarra is a square spaghetti shaped noodle. It's a little bit thicker. All of our spaghetti starts off here as dorm flour, egg yolk, salt, and olive oil. We make everything in-house. It comes in a bag, not a box. We just need a little basil chiffonade and fresh sprigs of oregano, and we'll be ready to serve. Now that our herbs have made a nice flavor in our sauce, we add our fresh spaghetti alla chitarra to the dish. We add a little pat of butter, help those tannins calm down, and some 18-month grana padana cheese. We take one of our beautiful Oneida pasta dishes, nice heaping twirl of our spaghetti, spoon a little extra sauce over top so the bread has something to do with itself at the table. And I like to finish this off with some of our homemade burrata cheese, a little fresh grana, a little chili flake, I always like to finish off every dish with a little fresh basil again. You can never have enough basil in your macaroni. And now we're ready to serve. Thank you for joining us and learning how to make our spaghetti alla chitarra matrigiana. We hope you join us next time. Enjoy. Enjoy.